First at six, a neighborhood haunted by cancer concerns. Good evening, I'm Heather Catalo in for Carolyn Clifford. And I'm Dave Llewellyn. Dozens of families in the Brighton area are waiting for test results to find out if a deadly toxin has seeped into their homes. The area in question is near Brighton Road and 7th Street. The state has tried to address the contamination for years, but 7 Action News reporter Kimberly Craig tells us the problem is still there. Over two dozen homes in this Brighton neighborhood have been tested for the contaminant, and as you can imagine, it's been quite concerning for homeowners. They're finding that trichlorothane is more dangerous than they even suspected. And that's why the home of Ken and Donna Spond have lived in for over 20 years is being tested for trichloroethylene or TCE. The Michigan Department of Environmental Quality says recent studies show the contaminant may be more of a health danger than previously thought. And it all stems from an old factory that operated here in Brighton in the 1940s that reportedly let TCE seep into the soil. The factory is long gone, but the problems remain in the form of groundwater contamination plumes and vapors that could be seeping up into homes. They thought that it would stay put, but it hasn't. It's continued to flow. It's very frustrating. You know, in the 22 years that we could have been inhaling, you know, toxic air, and uh, who knows what holds for the future. Studies show inhaling the contaminant can cause anything from headaches to cancer. The MDEQ is now testing about two dozen homes in the area of 7th and Maine, and they say contaminants have been detected beneath the homes in the red zone on this map, but they've broadened out the testing area to a number of homes in the blue zone. So far, we're told TCE vapors have migrated into five homes where remediation and air purifying systems are in place. I would just feel terrible if I was the the uh, reason why my grandkids had problems further down the road. I want to know that this place is safe. I hope they test and find that it's not dangerous at all. State officials say a plume of contaminants did actually travel under Brighton High School here, but thankfully they say the air quality inside the school was not affected. In Brighton, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News. All right, thank you, Kimberly. A Detroit City Council.